Hi, this is Dave Matthew with an Audio Precision Quick Tip. A quick tip provides a brief overview of an APX500 feature or function. In this quick tip, we're going to look at using a DCX127 multifunction module in APX and configuring it using signal pass setup. What's a DCX? It's an audio precision accessory designed years ago to provide certain I.O. capabilities that were not available in AP analyzers at the time. And it turns out the DCX can still provide some useful features to APX instruments. You'll need an audio precision USB adapter to connect to the DCX's proprietary APIB control interface. With APX, a DCX adds four additional GPIB aux control outputs two programmable DC outputs, and digital multimeter, or DMM, resistance and DC voltage metering capabilities. Let's look at the bench mode implementation first. In signal path setup, open the DCX menu. First up are the DMM DC level and resistance modes, each with a range control and a reading rate selector. These inputs can be monitored by adding a DC level or resistance meter, and they can be plotted in the bench mode sweep or recorder measurements. Each of the two DCX DC outputs can be set to any voltage between minus 10.5 volts to plus 10.5 volts. The four auxiliary outputs can be configured here. Each output has nine lines, a common and eight data lines. Each data line can be set to a logical 1 or 0. If you prefer, you can enter the hex equivalent in the field to the right. In sequence mode, the DC output and auxiliary outputs controls found in signal path setup are the same. However, the DMM controls are not on the signal path setup panel. They are found in the sequence mode DCX, DC level, and DCX resistance measurements. For more information, look in the documentation provided with APX500 and with the DCX127 multifunction module accessory. Look for other quick tips at ap.com. And thanks for watching.